Let's say you want to migrate your Cypress test to Playwright test or any other framework to any other framework. And doing this manually in 2025 would be considered as a waste of resources because you have AI who can make a heavy lifting for you and all you need to do is just carefully review that migration happened correctly. Let me show you in this video how would you approach this task like step by step with more planned approach. So let's dive into it. Uh, I have created a new project workspace CY2PW and uh, first thing you need to open Visual Studio Code and open two projects as part of the single workspace. So Cypress Playground is the project with Cypress that I'm going to migrate into the playwright. This is the code from my uh, Cypress course with some of the examples how to write the code with the Cypress first test and some page objects examples. And uh, the second folder is Playwright Playground is just empty framework, just a single example.spec.ts. It doesn't have anything else, just basic configuration. And uh, how would you start with the migration? We go to the copilot. The model I will use will be Claude Sonnet 4.5. Uh, you can choose GPT-5 if you have it available. Uh, and keep in mind that model selection impacts the result of execution. If you don't have access to the premium models and you will use GPT-4.0, uh, the result can be not as good as with a newer model. So keep that in mind. And before we begin, instead of uh, jumping into the agent model, I want to start with a new uh, agent that's available in the latest version of Visual Studio Code. Just update your VS Code if you don't see it uh, with a planner agent. And uh, before we start the migration, I want to create a high level plan to make sure that uh, what it's going to do is actually what I want to do, right? And let's start with initial prompt. I want uh, to um, create a plan to migrate uh, Cypress uh, Playground project to Playwright into Playwright, Playwright, Playground folder. Create a plan for the migration. I want to start slow and uh, before migrating the whole thing, it's pretty much impossible to do. You need to pick some, uh, you know, spec file or the smallest task from your framework that can be migrated as an example. In our example, it can be the, where is Cypress, E2E, this first test.cy.js, the simplest uh, spec file that can be migrated as a first action item. And it will be a training item for us to create initial plan. I want to start slow. Uh, let's uh, first create a plan to migrate uh, first test.cy.js. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Also, this first as the cy.js is added into the context of the project of the agent. It will look right now into the uh, all files of the project and develop the plan. So let's wait a little bit. All right, so it created the plan. Let's review it real quick. Uh, verify player configuration. Okay, create test with the imports and hooks. Okay, so migrate locator demonstration, convert hello world, uh, use instead of sci get, use page.locator. That's all right. Migrate locator methods and child elements. Uh, so Cypress locator and child using get by text, locator select hell text instead of filter. This is good. Migrate parent navigational and uh, uh, chains, convert parent elements like this, migrate locator, migrate value extraction. So instead of invoke text, we were going to use the text content for the get attribute. We're going to use instead of the uh, instead of the invoke attribute. It's also identified correctly migrate timeouts and further consideration. So uh, TypeScript typing, keep implicit types or test variables. So yes, we want to keep the simplicity without strict typing in the TypeScript, keep console log statements, yes, and organize the test in the, uh, all test in the single spec file. Yes, so I will add those nodes. 
uh, no uh, no uh, strict typing. Uh, the second is keep console log, and the third uh, is keep all tests in a single spec file. All right, so let's see. It should update the plan for this implementation. All right, so so far so good. I think we can start the implementation. Just click start implementation button. We are changing the mode from the planner agent to the actual agent. Start implementation and I just hit run. And then AI should cook the things. And according to our plan, migrate the first test.cy.js into the Playwright framework. Let's see. All right, so it says perfect. Migration is completed. Let's look in this file. And so far, so far, so far, we need to review it carefully. So it was using a nice structure with has text, exactly as I was expecting it to use. Uh, so for the parent locators, it used the has page locator, has text, perfect. It was using await uh, for the action commands. But where we don't have the action command, the await was not uh, used. So this is also expected. I don't know. So far, it looks good to me. The only thing uh, here, this test is not skipped while our original test over here was skipped. So let me keep it. And I type test skip just to skip this test because it's going to be slow. It has a delay of 10 seconds. And let's try to run it. So just to execute, make sure that it is working. Uh, all right, it's running the test and uh, it seems like, yeah, all tests passed, one skipped as expected. So after you created the initial pass and you see that the code that was generated is a kind of you was expected, then you want to summarize this success into the instruction that you're gonna use later for the framework. And I can ask agent to create this instruction for me. Uh, create a migration dot Instructions uh, md with all approaches and best practices uh, that we used for the current uh, single file migration. So I can use this instruction of instruction for the other files in future. Okay, it will generate for me the instruction file. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, file was created. Let's see. And uh, we have file naming, test hooks, how we navigate, um, the basic locator strategy, Cypress versus Playwright. And by the way, we can review it, um, reopen in open preview like this and look this view is much nicer so how we do in cypress how we do in the playwright what we avoid we avoid using the filter but instead we prefer using the has text as a second argument for the css selector instead of using has we use uh, if we have a parents in cypress then we use has page locator and so on for the child elements campaign locators uh, then and wrap how we handle this uh, actions value extractions everything is nicely documented and if you need to change anything of this you carefully review this document right now i'm kind of rushing a little bit right but for your real migration you should not rush you need to review this document carefully uh, make sure that everything that is AI generated for you is correct. This is the way how you expect it to work. And if yes, then accept it. If no, uh, accept and make a corrections with the expectations that you want. I think for this demo, it's okay. So I'm going to keep it. What I'm going to do next with this migration instruction, I create a new uh, folder in the root of my project. So new folder dot github uh, and then inside i will create another folder which is instructions like this and then i move this file under the instructions folder so i can use it later for my needs 
And now I'm going back to my agent. And the next step that I want to migrate will be what? So let's choose the second thing, a little bit more difficult. So Cypress E2E, let's migrate this page objects. And it should migrate the page objects, uh, including the folder with all the classes related to the page objects. So going back. Uh, and also I'm adding the instructions into the context. So clicking instruction and adding migration instruction to the context. Now let's describe the process. So very easy instruction is already added. So all we have to say is now uh, migrate uh, my uh, great page objects.cy.js following the instructions. Uh, also, don't forget to migrate all dependent files and folders uh, for this spec file, just to make sure that um, since we have a dependency, it should figure out that this import coming from other pages, just, just to make sure um, that we want to migrate other files as well. And uh, let's wait. All right, so it's migrated. The only thing that I don't like that it's migrated commands.ts, which is a Cypress thing. Uh, but let's see. Uh, so in helpers commands, ah, okay, it migrated the generic method to open the home page. It's all right, we can refactor it later. It's also created a page object uh, with all the imports of all the pages. Look, we have a constructor, we have page object passed into the instance of the constructor, and if we open any of the page object, everything seems organized correctly over here, the methods and stuff. So now let's see if it is working. So I click allow and it should execute page objects and two tests pass successfully. So the migration happened successfully. I will keep this one, keep with this one, keep, keep, keep everything and everything passed successfully. So after that, what you can do is uh, update the migration instructions.ts. So you can write another prompt and say, hey, consider the migration of the page objects. Uh, what's new we learn from this migration, add or update the existing migration instruction with some new details for the future implementation, review that. And that way you will create the migration instruction file that will describe um, with more details how you want to migrate your project. And then file by file, one by one, you do this migration. The main heavy lift here will be not writing the code, but not rushing with the uh, review. So review carefully every single line, understanding that migration happening correctly. It's anyway a lot faster than writing this whole thing manually, but please don't rush with just accepting, blindly accepting everything. Review the things. If it is what you expect, accept, or if needed, make a minor corrections. So I hope it was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, check my courses online about Cypress, about the Playwright. I teach how to automate with both of those projects. If any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next video.